In my last video I looked at x-ray absorption, the three processes of how x-rays are absorbed and then related that to get an x-ray image and we also looked at image intensifiers and contrast media. In this video I'm going to look at the absorption with depth of material. The first thing we need to appreciate is what a collimated beam is. If you have a point source of x-rays, so my x-ray is coming up here, uh, ordinarily with the point source should be straight. The, the rays are all diverging, so they're, they're spreading out, and for that reason the intensity is falling off with distance, according to that inverse square law. But a collimated beam, so that's an ordinary point source, with a collimated beam, here. Our x rays are all parallel to each other. And we're interested in how the intensity of the collimated beam is affected by the dense, uh, the, not the density, the depth of the material that you're looking at. So that's what we'll be looking at, not looking at this. The attenuation of a collimated beam through matter is exponential. Attenuation means energy loss, so what we're saying here is how the intensity of the beam will decrease as it travels through matter. So if this is my matter here, okay, then the intensity will gradually weaken. Drawing dotted lines here to indicate the intensity forms. Okay. That's our matter there. So we start off with a certain intensity, which would be I zero, that's our incident intensity, and then the intensity falls and it decreases exponentially. exponential attenuation, it's called attenuation. So if we were to plot a graph of the intensity with, with the, de uh, the depth of the matter, then we have something like this, this is fi, i over i zero, meaning we're just getting a ratio of the intensity with depth, and that would be measured in millimetres. Then we start at 100% here. And then falls off an exponential decay, so the de distance to fall to 50%, and then the same distance again, so that would be 25% there. Okay, so that's our exponential reduction, exp exponential attenuation. That's for a collimated beam, okay, it's an appreciation. You must remember that. Okay, so that's uh, the exponential graph. Uh, the equation for this intensity at any point there, we, so we, we call that um, x1 must be 2x1, for example. Uh, the equation is i equals i0 e to the minus mu x. Mu is the linear attenuation coefficient, and each material would have its own linear attenuation coefficient. The way that you would determine mu is, uh, the way that you would determine the linear attenuation coefficient is from a log graph. So if you take logs and then plot, uh, plot the log graph, you would get this. So this is log i. Yeah, yeah log i. And uh, this is x. Plot that, then you can get the 
linear attenuation coefficient from the gradient and the negative gradient will be equal to the linear attenuation coefficient for, the, for that particular material. So that's how you can determine it. Note that the graph has got a negative axis, uh, a negative gradient, sorry. So that means that the negative of a negative value gives you a positive linear attenuation coefficient. The half value thickness is the thickness of material that will reduce the incident intensity to 50%. Density at the half value thickness is the incident intensity over 2 or 50% you know, of the incident intensity. Now bone has a smaller half value thickness than soft tissue, so that means that bone will reduce the intensity to 50% with a thinner amount of material, so a smaller depth. If we plotted two graphs, if I now, go to this graph here. So, if I plot the graph for soft tissue, then we might get something like this. Both graphs are going to start from 100% because we're, we're plotting them for the same incident intensity. And then, if we plot for bone, it attenuates the beam much more quickly. So. We have something like that. And you can see that the half value thickness for bone comes to about here. That's the half value thickness for bone. And then the half value thickness then for the soft tissue, again coming to the, where the 50% is, is over here. So that's the half value thickness for the soft tissue. So the half value thickness for bone is smaller than that for the soft tissue. <coughs> For, to produce the same amount of attenuation as the soft tissue, I need less bone. And that, if you remember from the first video, is because bone has a higher mean atomic number. So there's more likelihood of there being pair production, photoelectric effect, Compton scattering, absorbing those x ray photons from the beam, therefore they don't penetrate the material. So that's uh, what how we would understand these exponential graphs and compare bone and soft tissue. So it all relates to what we looked at with the absorption processes.